So we've got a couple different 2A stories here. And I always say 2A, anything related to shootings or whatever, I just say 2A. So if you ever hear me say that, that's what I'm talking about. So a couple different stories here. Something that'll make you cheer, for sure. And then something that'll make you say, hmm. The Texas father, 29, shoot and kills burglar, holding his two young children at gunpoint after breaking into his home. Port Arthur police identified the deceased suspect as a loser. The owner of the home fatally gunned down the suspect after he barged into the home with two other armed suspects. Three suspects barged into the home when a woman residing in the home came back to the residence on the 2500 block of 18th Street. Homeowner is said to be a 29-year-old father who was armed with a rifle. Thank goodness. The two other suspects left the scene and police are still searching for the duo. Okay, so they didn't catch the other two individuals. Give it time. But thankfully, that father had a gun. There's our scumbag right there. No word yet on whether BLM is going to try to burn this person's house down simply for defending his wife and children. The homeowner, an unidentified 29-year-old man, armed himself with a rifle and fired several shots to keep his family safe. The loser died at the scene, police shared. Two other suspects left the scene as we heard about. No one else was injured in the home, which is great news, scumbag there. Comments real quick, Law & Order Texas style indeed. Give that man a cigar. Career criminal, good riddance. Didn't see any other information in this article about it, so perhaps that individual knows a little bit more about it. But I would be willing to bet, if I had to put a little money in the pot, that this isn't your first crime. That breaking into somebody's house with other individuals who are armed, that isn't your starter crime. You kind of work your way up into that one, right? So from this story, definitely glad the homeowner had the gun to another story where... Unfortunately, you'll see. Dine and Dash woman, 28, shot teenager dead after he confronted her for not paying the bill at restaurant in Colorado. It says here, Dine and Dash woman shot a teenager dead. So from what we know now, we have a dead teenager. She apparently seems to be the one who didn't pay the bill. So a woman, 28, packing heat. I, I don't know. Well, it's kind of odd, right? We'll, we'll work through it. Rudy Arguello was shot at a restaurant parking lot in Aurora, Colorado, Tuesday. He was rushed to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Okay, so he must be the teenager, obviously. The Aurora Police Department identified the shooter as Jacqueline DePaz, who was apprehended during a traffic stop Thursday. Okay, okay, so we got it. Okay, it makes more sense now. It's kind of, I don't know, just statistically it seemed kind of odd to have a female gun down a male like that. It looks like two days later they were able to apprehend her. So Jacqueline is the 28-year-old dining dasher. Arguello was dining at the Mariscos El Rey 2 restaurant when he came to the aid of a waitress who attempted to stop a party of eight from fleeing without paying. The group reportedly refused to pay and complained their food was cold. A fight broke out at the parking lot and Arguello was shot when he tried to grab the gun away from to pause. Okay, that's definitely fucked up. This is a sad situation for sure. Man, you definitely have to feel for Rudy's family. You can say, yeah, he shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have been trying to white knight it. Shouldn't have been trying to stick up for that waitress for sure. I'm not sticking my nose in there, especially when you're talking about eight people. Man, it definitely sucks for his family. You don't want to see it, but I just wanted to say, different from the previous story where the man had to defend his family inside of his home, don't do this. If some people, waitress as well, anybody, people want to dine and dash. People want to steal from Walmart. I've seen it. People want to steal stuff. Fuck them. Let them go. Not worth it. They're scumbags. If they're shitty enough to be trying to dine and dash to begin with, then you know they're pieces of garbage as humans. So they could be packing and they could be ready to fight. So just let it go, man. I wish Rudy would have just let it go. But again, let me reiterate much uh, sympathy for him, uh, his family, and everything. I just, it it sucks to have to hear stuff like this. Jacqueline DePaz has been held on second-degree murder charges over the death of Rudy Rios in Aurora, Colorado. Rios was dining with friends at Marisco's El Rey 2 restaurant last Tuesday. Like we heard about, the argument ensued between eight diners and a waitress. The group, which included DePaz and several children, allegedly claimed their meal was cold and refused to pay their bill. The upset customers allegedly bolted from the restaurant when the waitress threatened to call the police. 
according to the Colorado Sentinel, and that's what should have been done. Don't chase them into the parking lot. The waitress and other customers who had witnessed the altercation, including Rios, reportedly followed the group into the parking lot and a brawl ensued. See, that's the kind of stuff you can't do, man. There's the young man, brother. I wish, yeah, I wish, you know, things didn't go that way. There's our shit bag right there. Oh yeah, look at her. Tatted up, baby. Come on. I wouldn't even try to mess with a chick like this. Look at those tats. Garbage. Rios attempted to help a person who had fallen to the ground during the melee, according to a court document. A video of the brawl reviewed by detectives allegedly showed DePaz pointing a gun at the teenager and shouting, Back the F up. I got a strap now. Authorities say Arguello Rios tried to take the gun from DePaz before she shot him and escaped from the scene in a Mercedes Benz. Rios was struck on the left side of his chest and was rushed to a local hospital where he died an hour later. They've got a vigil out there for the young man. Damn, Rudy. In court documents, the waitress described Rios as a peacekeeper who was yelling at the others to stop being rude and to be respectful, according to the affidavit. Now, that's respectful within the confines of the restaurant, obviously, but we just, man, you don't want to follow people outside. That's all I'm saying. Call the police. That's what they're there for. DePaz was detained Thursday after cops identified her following a traffic stop. She is being held at the Arapahoe County Jail on $1 million bond. Her next court date has been set for January 28th. A GoFundMe account has been set up for Arguello Rios' funeral expense, which has received $10,764 as of Tuesday afternoon. There's the young man there, probably getting ready for prom or something. Fuck, man, Rudy. I took a quick look. He's up over 11000 now. It's Tuesday night when I'm recording this, but man, Rudy, fuck, man. Just guys, please learn this stuff. I, mean, I know I don't get a ton of views on my videos, but just please don't do this stuff. Shocking, exactly. Like, shocking, saddening. Again, I've said all I can say, but just in the first circumstance, yes. If people come into your house, you want to have that protection. Lay them down. Lay animals down. Ask questions later. You definitely stand up for your family within the confines of your home, especially when you see individuals coming in with guns. I feel so bad for the family. It's kind of a fucked up situation. Man, don't try to be the hero. I know you're trying to do the right thing, but don't pursue. That's all I would say. So be well, everybody. Just hear these stories and kind of just put yourself in these situations and, and do the smart thing. All right, be well, everyone. Got a couple more days till New Year's. And again, another day where people act stupid. So be safe out there if you do go out, everybody. So take care.